to lend moral support and make snarky comments. And also, let's just say that if you love somebody who loves coffee, that maybe you would learn how to do something that they love no. to love and support that person. Some people might say that that is a way that you could show love and support. What are the odds that the coffee I make ever, ever, will meet your standard? Here's the thing. No, answer the question. <laughs> The answer, the question, the, the answer is twofold. Never. The, the answer is never one, be good never, enough. because yes. two, you won't ever put the effort in to make it good enough. Oh. Burn. Oh, but that is the truth. That is not the truth. <laughs> it is, is the truth. Such because this one bullshit. can cook. She talks about, oh, she can't cook. But she can. She just gets distracted because it's really boring to cook is the real answer. She is capable of cooking. She just doesn't like to. And I don't have to. And she doesn't like to make me coffee. So. Mostly you are not going to like the coffee I make. All right. Okay, let's we're moving on. Come on. All right. So, uh, that was a moment. So, okay, pour over is delightful when done correctly. <laughs> uh, Maybe you should just throw it all over and get one of those little Mr. Coffee machines. Yeah, no, I have one that I make pour over into in order to keep it hot. Um, so, okay, we're going to use a recipe today, which I know people are like, a recipe for coffee but it's it contains a thing. water and coffee grounds. And time. That's what the other thing it contains is time. Those are the three variables. Oh, and temperature. Ooh. Yeah. So ideally. That's for filters. They must yeah. be made from the hairs of, you know. <clears throat> All right. So let's unicorns. just talk. Let's talk about our, our equipment first. Let's start there. All right. We have a V60 Hario pour over. It's like six ninety nine on Amazon. It's plastic. We have the uh, matching coffee filter things they're Look, like these come from japan yeah say it it's in japanese paper filter oh which that. is japanese for paper filter good yeah yeah i'm glad that we know that now paper, paper filter, filter. yeah yep. Do, if you didn't know Catherine is not making fun of asian people Catherine actually speaks japanese and oh yeah no that's actually how you say it that's yeah not a... yeah because i just in case anyone doesn't know your backstory right. that you grew up in japan <laughs> and spent 30 years yeah. there and speak japanese fluently it might seem to new people that right, like I'm mocking, you're mocking. an Asian accent. No, no, paper filter is actually the correct pronunciation of paper filter in Japanese. Cool. So we have those. Then we have I use a, a Hario scale to match because matching is important to me. Uh, but I, so just cute. a scale and a timer works just fine. You could use your timer on your phone. This one has a timer built into it, which I think is delightful. And who loved you enough to get you this amazing this one. scale? Yeah. The That's... best wife in the world. It's true. True story. Yep. Uh, so the first thing you do... Oh, and the gooseneck kettle, because you can use a regular kettle, but it is not as fantastic. It, the beans, like the grounds, they just splash up. They don't get covered evenly. It's no good. So the first thing you do, which I've already done, is I pour, you pour a little water into the filter so the filter is wet. Then you tear it, you get rid of that water, and then you uh, turn on your scale. Wait, what do you mean you get rid of that water? You get rid of the water. Oh, I see. So you wet it, and then you pour yeah, off Yeah, because you want to get rid of that paper left. taste out of the water. Right. This is, you don't really have to get rid of the water, but the snobs do. Then. Thank God we're not those. Thank God. Then you tear it, so the scale's reset to zero. And we're going to do 30 grams of coffee here. That's, I pre-ground this, which is shameful, but the truth is, is that bringing the whole... Shameful. Be shocked, <laughs> internet. Be shocked that he um, pre-ground his coffee. Meanwhile, we're in a yurt at the moment, up in the mountains, and we have no running water at the moment. But I did pre-grind my coffee, and it feels shameful to me. But God forbid that he pre-ground the coffee. But okay, last so time I... Know, how do you know it's 30 grams? So like you're measuring it here I on measured the scale. it here on the scale. There's no, like, three tablespoons... No, because depending on the way that the things settle it's and the like hard. grind of the numbers. coffee and it's math. A lot of math. Yeah. A so lot of math. thirty grams. Okay. Now for every gram of coffee, you do fifteen milliliters of water. Every gram? So we're yeah. doing thirty times fifteen? Yeah, or I guess thirty yeah, uh thirty times fifteen. Yeah. But it's I guess it's not milliliters, it's grams, it's weight still. So thirty grams of thirty times fifteen coffee, is hot. It's four fifty. 45 plus a zero is 450. Yeah. I thought it was going to be 4,500. <clears throat> that's a lot. Uh, so that's how much water we're going to put into this. Okay. 
the water is at 94 degrees. Ideally, it probably isn't any, it's probably like 96 or... No, you should still show them the top of this thing. Yeah, this has a thermometer in the... It has a thermometer in the top. It's not currently calibrated because I failed, but um, it could be in theory. So, okay, now here's the special part. You do 30 over... I lost it for a second there. So, you do 100 grams of water over 30 seconds, and you let it bloom for 30 seconds. And the blooming is, it lets, it blooms, let it bloom. It's like the coffee off gases, and it lets all the like stuff out. There's no nice interpretive dance for off it's, gas. That sounds terrible. So that's why we call it, it's blooming. Blooming, that's, yeah. let's stick with blooming. Blooming. So what we're yeah. gonna do is we are going to hit start. Oh, and, oh, I didn't tear it. There we go. And we're just. Five. So you just pour until you hit 30 seconds? And ideally that'll hit up around the same time as 100. So that's a little faster. You got to 105 grams. Over 27 seconds. Over 27 seconds, okay. And then we're letting it bloom. So let's, for the people. I'm gonna just interpretive dance the blooming. Can you see the bloom? I don't know if you can see the bloom. Yeah. It's blooming though. It's happening. That was a messy segue. Uh, and then, then you just, you don't want to let it get dry, so you just slowly... But it's not another, it hasn't been exactly 30 seconds. That's okay, because you don't want to let it get dry. So if you do it perfectly, it will be all the right amount of things, but if you don't do it perfectly, you'll be a little off. And today... Then you have to just throw it all away. No, we're a little off, but perfection is not important. Now we're slowly going to put this in. How is this different than just sort of slowly pouring it in a circular motion and taking pauses every so often? So technically it's, it is not really different. It's just that I am knowing how much water to put in and how much coffee to put in and over what amount of time. So if you eventually got like muscle memory, you probably wouldn't need to use the scale and the, you probably, I mean, I would, but lots of people, it would be just fine. So, but, but, pardon, say it, come again? Who, but who I would? would. Who would? <laughs> I would. You would. Yeah, I absolutely would. So, right now, we're at a minute 51 at uh, 200, or, yeah, 239 And we're going to get to 450. We're going to get to 450, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit. This is very complicated. We've got the time on the left-hand mm -hmm. side of the scale, and we've got the amount, the weight of the water. Yeah. But this is water plus ground, so now our no, calculations I, I tear, are No, I tear, you tear when the grounds are... Uh, it means it resets the scale at the new weight that it's at to zero. We don't call that resetting. We call it tearing to be fancy. That is the term. It even says it right on the calculator. <laughs> it's not a calculator. It's a scale slash timer. All right. So between 2.30 and 3. I like three minutes is ideal. We're, we're at gonna go two to, and a half. We're going to go to 4.50. Oh, it's ticking. So now and we are at 3.80. 90, I'm going to just put the rest in here. 430, 4, oh. 455. 455. We've still got 15 seconds left to get to three. Yeah, so, well, because now it's got to get all the way through. Oh. Because it's not just like, is the coffee on top of it at the three minute mark? Is the coffee through at three minutes? And 58, 59, three yeah. minutes. So it's not. So now we have to throw, throw this away. No, that's not, that's not how it works. It doesn't have to be perfect every time, just most of the time. Or close to perfect. Or not close to perfect at all, really. That's fine, too. 30 grams of coffee, 450 grams of water. Yep. Go slow. Take breaks for blooming. Yeah, don't forget to bloom. Then. So wait, if you did 20 grams of coffee, you would do, what was it, times 15? Times 15, yeah. So that would be, what, 300? 300. Yeah. Uh, and some people, okay. you'll you can play with your recipe let some people like um it's gonna drip no i have it under a lid oh uh carrie ann of rebel bean she prefers a 17 to 1 ratio she really likes 17 so that's more water to more coffee. water to coffee yeah so it really depends on what you like i like a 15 to 1 i like a 6 to 1 you don't that's disgusting that would be it's like espresso no that 
I don't. I'm kidding. I know. Yeah. Even I know that this is not espresso yeah. beans. It's different. And the water has to go through really quickly to be espresso. It extracts very quickly under a lot of force. This is a slow pour method, so it's very different. <laughs> and this is where she mocks me. <laughs> And this is where she mocks me. I love you so much. <laughs> Internet, I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna get rid of this little nastiness here. The half my nastiness, just that little this bit of extra water. water. Yeah. I will tell you, and yeah. it smells absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. And everyone who drinks it always says it's amazing. So yeah. it's hard to argue with that level of success. See? Goodness, look how cute these mugs are in this yurt. Yeah. We're in a yurt, by the way. This is not our house, in case you're wondering. We are in a yurt in the yep. mountains. Having a romantic getaway. Avoiding our children. Catherine's only cried twice. It's fine. I just did out of you the internet. You did. But, but, but that's not because we were, is... like, not we're, like, fighting. fighting. And not just about the water. Just because you're a crier. Just because I'm a crier. I'm yeah. out here in the wilderness to, like, pry. I'm to bloom. She's, I'm blooming, she's blooming, friends. Maybe that's my year of, yeah, you know, I didn't have a name for 2020. I didn't have a word for 2020. Maybe it'll be bloom. Uh, note of warning. The year I chose the word bloom as my theme of the year was the year that my whole life exploded. Three months into the year, there was a massive earthquake. I left the country I lived in with a suitcase and my young daughter. So just, just our watch young daughter. out. Yes, our young daughter at the time. You know what I mean. I'm so just, anyway, just beware of the gentle words like bloom. Mm. Mm. I'm in. Oh yeah? yeah? You want it? Bring it on? Bring it. Are you listening, universe? <sighs> just him, though. Like, I don't want the lightning to strike me. Mm. It's delicious. So that's Nick's super nerdy coffee ritual. It's pretty great, isn't it? It's kind of mm. cute. It's kind of sexy, even, especially when he does a topless. Yep. Yeah, because I can. So I'm in a yurt on vacation. So that's how you make coffee. Pour over edition, not espresso. All right, everybody. To be clear. Tell us about your super nerdy rituals. Tell us about the places where you geek out in the world. We all have them and we want to hear about them. Guilty pleasure, not so guilty.